everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to estimate the modus evapotranspiration data using time series plot analysis in google earth engine for any region so now what is a uh, modus evapotranspiration so this project is a part of nasa's eos project to estimate the global terrestrial evapotranspiration from earth's land surface by using satellite remote sensing data the mode 16 Global evapore transpiration product can be used to calculate the regional water and energy balance, the soil water status. Hence, it provides a key information for water resource management. With the long-term ET data, the effect of changes in climate, land use, and ecosystem disturbance, for example, the wildfire, wildfires and uh, insect outbreaks on regional water resources and the land surface energy uh, changes can be quantified. And now let me explain about this data that is MODIS, uh, MODIS 16, a Terra net evapore transpiration, 8, uh, 8 day global, 500 meter resolution data. So, data set is availability is from 2001 to 2023. The data, data set provider is NASA LP. And uh, you can access the, this particular data using the specific code in your uh, code editor. And now there is a few description about this data that is a MODIS uh, evapore transpiration data. So it is an eight day composite product produced at 500 meter uh, pixel resolution. And now we can visualize uh, the different bands that is available within this data. So there is, uh, so these are the different bands that is available uh, in the modus evapore transpiration data here. So ET here represents total evapore transpiration and LE here represents the average, uh, the lantern heat flux and uh, PET here represents the total uh, potential evapore transpiration and uh, PLE here represents average potential lantern heat flux. So now if you want to understand what is an evapore transpiration, so evapore transpiration is a crucial component of Earth's water cycle, representing the combined process of water evaporation from surface and transpiration from the plants. It plays a significant role in the movement of water from Earth's surface to the atmosphere. So the key components of evapore transpiration, first is evaporation, second the transpiration. Evaporation refers to the process by which the water changes from liquid state to gaseous. And similarly, transpiration is a release of water vapors from stomata on the surface of the plant leaves in the, into the atmosphere. So evapotranspiration so, uh, is a sum of the evaporation and transpiration representing the total water vapor loss from both land surfaces and pl plants canopies to the atmosphere. So importance, so water cycle, climates and weather and hydrology. So applications. So in agriculture, ET is a key uh, parameter in agricultural water management and helping farmers to optimize the irrigation schedules and water use efficiently. Efficiently. So ecology. The ET is an important for studying and managing the ecosystem as it influences the vegetation dynamics, soil moisture, and overall ecosystem health. The climate uh, modeling. So incorporating accurate ET data into climate models improves the prediction of the regional and global climate patterns. So now let me get back to our earth engine. So now uh, to estimate our modus evapore transpiration using our time series analysis. So now first let us visualize our modus evapore transpiration data. So for that we defined so variable called data set equals to double e dot image collection modus 061 mode 16A2. So we're going to filter with the specific timeline starting from. So for that we define dot filter double e dot filter dot date. So 2022 January 1 to 2022, 2022 uh, May 1. So to set a visualization parameter for our evapore transpiration data, we defined a variable called evapore transpiration vis. Vis here represents the visualization parameter. So with a minimum of zero and to a maximum of 300. So these are the different color palettes representing the different concentration of evapore transpiration starting from lowest to the highest. And to uh, set a zoom, uh, to set a zoom level and to center our layer we define map dot center set center so with a specific latitude and longitude and zoom level of two so now to visualize this layer we define map dot add layer evapore transpiration represents this particular variable that is our this specific variable and next uh, we are use evapore transpiration which represents our visualization parameter variable so it represents this specific variable here and output the layer as evapore transpiration so now to uh, to calculate evapore transpiration for any specified country of your choice. So suppose if you want to cal uh, calculate evapore transpiration uh, for Thailand, so you can specify the country name here 
and uh, as a result you can uh, able to calculate the mean evapotranspiration for the specific country so to for that we defined a variable called countries equals to double e dot feature collection usdos ls ib simple 2017 and with the variable of our country of choice that is thailand equals to countries dot filter double e dot filter eq eq so country now that is country name here represents that is about thailand so now to import our modus evapotranspiration data so for that we define the specific uh, variable for that we define a specific variable called et double dot image collection modus 006 modern 16a2 dot filter we're going to filter from the specific timeline starting from 2015 to 2019 and in that we're going to select the specific band called et so this is our total evapotranspiration band so you're going to select the specific band here to calculate our evapotranspiration that is our total evapotranspiration next to display our evapotranspiration data the annual variation so starting from 2015 to 2019 so for that we defined a variable called chart equals to so to in order to display in time series plot we defined a variable called chart equals to ui dot chart dot image doi series by year so et here represents our evapotranspiration and here the country's name that is thailand and we are using reducer.mean function so the reducer.mean function is used in order to get the mean value of the days of the year so for that we are using our double dot reducer.mean function and the spatial resolution on this particular band is et band is is 500 meter resolution so that is here that is our et band the resolution is around 500 meters so now let us visualize our data and uh, let me visualize it so for that we're gonna move on to this option called run and click run so now let us visualize this particular uh, evapotranspiration here we turn to turn on to a satellite mode so now here you can able to visualize in this part of the region here so evapotranspiration is uh, very low is indicated in this in this specific color so starting from this specific color and very high evapotranspirations are indicated so here you can able to observe the high evapotranspirations are indicated in uh, a dark uh, green color that is in a dark uh, green color here and the lowest evapotranspirations are indicated in, in this specific uh, color that is in light starting from this white to a lowish shade so indicating a low evapotranspiration rate so here it is our study region that is thailand we have estimated the evapotranspiration for thailand here so you can able to observe here a larger portion of this specific study region has a higher evapotranspiration and at the central part let me turn this layer off so from here you can able to visualize it now and similarly let us take a look of this uh, let us take the look of this uh, ET uh, mean versus our day of the year graph starting from 2015 to uh, 2019 so from here you can able to observe here this is our ET mean that is evapotranspiration so starting from 0 to 400 and similarly the day of the year so starting from 0 to 365 days in a year so these are the different time period uh, that is uh, years the evapor concentration of the evapor concentration uh, varies here in different uh, years from starting from 2015 to 2019 so for example you can able to observe here in 2015 that is represented in blue color so in this period of time it was a lower evapotranspiration and compared to the, in this specific uh, part of the time has a very high evapotranspiration in this period and also this part of the year in uh, between 275 to 300 so uh, in that particular days so we had a very high uh, this particular uh, study region had a very high evapotranspiration and at the end of the year that is in december so you can you know, able to observe here in the december at 350 uh, day of the year so the evapotranspiration uh, concentration has been uh, reduced significantly which is comparable to in the start of the year and in the end of the year so likewise in 2016 you can uh, able to observe the red color red per red uh, line here represents uh, the 2016 uh, evapo uh, transpiration uh, versus our day of the year so it is uh, 2016 was a year 
where the evapotranspiration was uh, significantly lower compared to other years from uh, between this period of uh, days from 25 to and 25 to 150 so you can able to observe here so the orange here represents 2017 and the green represents 2018 and the purple represents 2019 so this specific uh, graph uh, shows a uh, ET that is evapotranspiration concentration versus our day of the year in different uh, period of time so this particular data is available from 2000 to 2023 so now let me get back to our earth engine here so uh, in this video i have shown you how to estimate the modus evapotranspiration uh, time series data using our earth engine here so thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like